My friends, today's video is brought to you by Honey. In case you haven't heard of them, they're the browser extension that helps you to save money on whatever you're buying. I don't know about you, but I get buyer's remorse all the time from things that I purchase and then realize that there was a discount somewhere and I screwed it up and I spent way too much. And especially with rebuilding my life here in the United States, moving from South Africa, it bothers me all the time that I'm not getting the best deal and I have to make sure that I'm spending every dollar wisely. And Honey has allowed me to have the peace of mind. It's a browser extension extension that installs in just two clicks. You get set up and going, and then it enters all of the coupon codes that it could possibly use for you automatically so that you can make sure that you're actually getting the best deal when you purchase it. I've used it on Amazon. I've used it on Best Buy's website. I've used it on Ikea. I've used it basically everywhere. And Honey has saved me hundreds of dollars as I've built out my new office uh, as I've moved over here. And they've saved UFD Tech viewers over 19,000 total dollars as people have used our link in the video description, which is actually joinhoney.com forward slash UFD Tech. You click that link, you get Honey installed in just two clicks and then you're off to the races getting the best deal on everything you want and especially during the holiday season that's what you're going to want to do to get the best deal on everything my friends Ah, my friends, my first PC build here in the US is finally complete, ready to go. This is gonna be my main like creation system for right now, obviously. Uh, there's a few things about this that I'm sure you guys have questions about. So we're just gonna go ahead and go over the details of the build. So first up, our friends over at NZXT sent us over the H210i, obviously matte black edition. I thought it would go super well with the Noctua cooler that we were throwing in here. Speaking of the cooler, thankfully, Linus and team announced their collaboration with Noctua on the NHD15 right after I decided to make my move. So I was one of the first, I think it was the first thousand people to order one of these, got the LTT edition. I obviously did. Um, I didn't put any on on any of the like orange, like rubber anti-vibration pads, but I did get the LTT card that comes with this. So that is amazing. I love it. It's gonna keep that 9900K cool, which I'm sure a lot of you are wondering why I'm not doing Ryzen. And that's because I already had the 9900K. I actually, crap. I actually brought this over from South Africa. I didn't want to buy another chip. So I, and I also already had that Z390 motherboard. So just putting those two together made a whole lot of sense to me. Not spending any money on the processor or the motherboard saved me probably about seven, eight hundred dollars for this build, which all in total probably comes out to around fifteen hundred to two thousand dollars. So saving money there, really what I wanted. 
uh, to do, which was great. And speaking of saving money, I saved money on the RAM kit because as I was looking to build this PC, Best Buy actually put this on sale. This is a two by 16 gig kit of 3000 megahertz RAM. I believe it's cast latency 15. So I have 32 gigs of RAM in this system, which is gonna be great for any of the video editing that I need to do my side uh, with my editor still being in South Africa. So having 32 gigs in a mini ITX system makes me super happy. And then I'm sure a lot of you are wondering about the RTX 2060 Super. It was the best thing that I could get at my local store. Didn't really feel like ordering in. I do have other GPUs floating about. I have a 5700 XT, which is going to be going into our AMD build that we're doing. So I actually did manage to order a 3950X and that's gonna go in my X570 Aqua. It's just that the 3950X I happened to order from Ootware in South Africa. So I have to figure out a way to go get that and bring it home so that I can actually put that into our water cooling build that we're gonna be doing with the 3950X and a 5700 XT. All of that is gonna be merged together in one glorious thing. And then also I got custom cables for this. I just wanted to kind of go with a black and silver aesthetic, which this is kind of a temporary build, which is one of the reasons why we put the PCI Express 4.0 drive in here, that Sabrent that I'm sure you guys saw. It's a one terabyte PCI Express 4.0 drive, and then I have a two terabyte NVMe 3.0 drive at the back for three terabytes of total NVMe storage. But this is actually gonna be converted. That drive is gonna go right into that 3950X build. It's just here temporarily. And the 9900K system is in here temporarily. I actually have another uh, system that I'm gonna to transplant this into and this h210i is actually going to be my son's gaming pc so we're going to build him a mini itx computer upcoming in the near future so a lot of this is a uh, like kind of a temporary situation which is why it was a little weird with the pci express 4.0 with the 9900k and rtx 2060 super there's a few things that i'm going to be changing about it but it is a gorgeous build i absolutely love the black and silver finish that's going in here i do still need to set the Vengeance Pro LEDs. I'm probably gonna set those to white, but the white strip that's in the H210i, uh, just kind of illuminating the inside is amazing. This is just a little Persona 5 Joker just because I wanted to throw it in here for this video. Uh, but the, uh, the cables in here, the custom sleeve cables, impeccable. Uh, that's gonna go a little bit better with the new uh, system that this is going into. And I also happen to get a custom backplate for the 2060 Super from V1 Tech. Unfortunately, I wasn't really thinking about it. It doesn't fit in this mini ITX system because of uh, how the the motherboard's like IO shroud works. So I have to take out the IO shroud if I wanna use the backplate. So I'm gonna work on that for when we transplant it. But overall, this 9900K should be able to hit five gigahertz on the D15 and I should be able to get all of the content creation done that I really want. But for the most part, this was one, what I needed to just kind of get to work right now. And then two, an attempt at us trying to work on some more videography tactics and things that we uh, want to be producing here now that I'm back in the United States. So let me know what you thought of that like little intro video that we did, that build montage. What'd you think of the, the cinematography? What did you think of how we constructed it? Let me know uh, if this is what you want to see going forward. Just keen to hear from you about that. But that's gonna be the end of this video. Let me know what you think of our build. Again, big thanks to our friends over at NZXT for sending over the H210i. Don't forget about today's video sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by Honey. Go to joinhoney.com forward slash UFD tech. There's really no reason to not use them. It's a free browser extension, installs in just two clicks, and then you're saving money, hundreds of dollars. I cannot tell you how valuable it's been to me as I've been moving here. It's great. Joinhoney.com forward slash UFD tech. My friends, use it. And that's gonna, that's gonna wrap it up for me. Uh, hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. Get subscribed to stay up to date on the rest of our tech content, which should be coming down the pipeline soon. Also, don't forget to check out our merch. We do have holiday merch on sale, the RGB tech tree. Mine's on order right now, should be in shortly, uh, but get, press F to pay respects. Don't merch. I'm out of here, bye.
So friends, just to give you a quick update on how the system is actually performing and rendering out this video as we speak right now, obviously besides this part, the system down here already plugged in, everything's good to go, rendering it with my 4K monitor right here. Anyways, CPU 9900K is at five gigahertz, all cores. Uh, looks like we're drawing about 175 to 180 watts on this chip with the voltages being in the 1.3 region, which isn't terrible. Anyways, the highest that it's got during this render with the CPU pegged to 100% is 85 degrees on that D15. So Noctua, Linus coming out with a really good product. Obviously, everybody's known that the D15 has been a phenomenal cooler, but even in a mini ITX system like this, performing phenomenally. So I'm gonna get this rendered out and you'll see the video. 